Hello good morning friends welcome back to your favorite channel code one digest today in this tutorial we will learn about theme extension development to call external api from shopify ui i have got many requests from audience that please create a video how to call external apis from shopify themes how to make call to external api to get data into our shopify themes or how to push data from shopify theme to external apis in my previous tutorial i explained you how to create theme extension how to modify your, your shopify ui in this tutorial i am going to show you how to call external api to get information or to update information in your custom apis which is running in external cloud like aws or azure or in your organization infrastructure right so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very informative you will learn how can we make call to external api from shopify ui right friends in a previous video i have covered how to create theme app extension and how to create custom app in shopify so go and watch this video to understand the basic concepts of shopify custom apps and theme extensions these videos are very detailed and explain you step by step how to create custom app in shopify and how to create theme extension in shopify if you want to learn custom app development if you want to learn theme app extension development then go and watch this previous video these are very useful video so go and watch this previous tutorial it will be very very helpful for you friends i have also created a shopify playlist where you will find all the tutorial videos that i have created in last few months so you can go and watch all the videos if you are interested in shopify development if you want to learn shopify theme development or if you want to learn shopify custom app public app development then go and watch all these videos i have explained the shopify concepts in detail i have shown you with with the help of demo application how can you build your custom app for your stores so go and watch this playlist it is going to be very very exciting and very informative okay friends so here is the agenda of this tutorial today i'll explain what is shopify theme what are prerequisite for this tutorial then i'll explain you the extension development how can you do a theme extension development we will write html code we will write some javascript code and then i'll show you how to build your application and deploy your theme into shopify store then finally i'll show you how to test your theme extension in your shopify store so watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very informative and very very useful to you okay friends so these are the prerequisite for this tutorial you would need shopify partner account i hope you already have a partner account if you don't have you can create a free partner account then you would need one shopify development store for deploying this theme and for testing this theme right you should have at least one development store you should have ruby 3.2.2 installed in your local it will be required for your theme development and for your custom app development then we will need node version 18 and above npm version 9.5 and vs code editor so if you have all of this we are good to go right friends okay friends so let me spend 2 minutes on shopify themes what is the shopify theme right we all know shopify is a e-commerce platform and it has customer facing ui where the user can browse products add product to the cart and complete the checkout journey and place order shopify out of the box offers lot of different themes but we often need a customization in the ui pages right i would like to add a button or i would like to show some additional text and so on but there are certain limitations the shopify themes are built as a liquid files dot liquid files and you cannot make changes to their liquid files we cannot make changes to their existing themes 
So what we have to do, if we have to do any customization, then we have to write some extensions. That means using extensions, we can add a customization to existing theme. And Shopify themes is made up of blocks and sections and so on, right? You can build your own sections, you can build your own block and you can drag and drop onto a page. Uh, I just want you to know that theme is nothing but a UI component of Shopify e-commerce platform and we can customize it using extensions. Shopify provide this feature of extensions where we can customize the UI component as per our requirement. So now I'll show you how can you develop a extension project and make certain changes into a UI using those extensions. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I am creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our Code One Digest family. Thank you. Okay friend, so very first thing what you need to build extension is a partner account. Okay, so Shopify partner is a site where you can build all your apps, any apps that you want to build for the Shopify, whether you want to publish it on App Store or not you have to have a Shopify partners account. So this is a Shopify partner account. I have logged in with my ID. You can also create a free account. There is no problem in that, right? Then you should have one store created, right? Like this, this is just a dummy store. So this is a default store that Shopify provides. And this store will obviously will have an admin. So this is the admin of this store where I can control the product price, inventory and theme and everything, right? So this is a admin of this store and we use this default site for our testing. We'll be deploying our changes, the customization that we are doing as a part of this tutorial, we will test it on this site. So we'll be doing some customization and see that those customizations are visible on this site, right? That's the whole intent of this tutorial because Shopify doesn't give you the code of these pages, right? You cannot modify the UI that is coming out of the Shopify. We have to do any customization required as a part of extension. And that is what I am trying to demonstrate here. So we'll use this site to make the changes to test our customizations. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So now let's start with the extension development. You can create a folder where you want to create the extension, right? And then you can open a command prompt here and then we'll use npm. We'll write a command npm init at Shopify slash app at latest, right? So this is a command to create any new app, Shopify app that you want to. Extension is also considered as a app. So this is a command to initialize your Shopify app, new app. Okay. Press enter. Then it will ask certain inputs from you we will provide that input yes so project name i'm saying cod extension and then it will ask whether you want to start with the remix project or you want to add first extension so using arrow key select the second one start by adding your first extension because in this tutorial we are covering the extension development select that so now it is downloading all the prerequisite and libraries for you. It is creating a project structure for you. It will have all prerequisite folders and files for us. It will take two to three minutes to install all these dependencies. Okay, friends, it's done now. Once you see this box, that means the setup is done. You can see a folder is created here. Yes, code extension. You can go inside the code extension. So we have to follow these instructions now to create extension. We have to run this command to create an extension. Before that, let me show you the content of this directory. So these are the content of this directory. It has package.json and it has shopify.app.tuml. I'll tell you what our information is there. It's like configuration file. And then we have extension folder, but it doesn't have anything right now. So 
we are going to add a extension inside this extension directory that is what we are doing as a part of this step npm run generate extension so let me put that command here npm run generate extension and make sure you are inside this folder so it will again ask me few information to generate an extension let me do that yes so it is asking me if i want to create it as a new app or connect it to existing app so i am saying yes create a new app so press enter and it asking me for the app name what would be your app name so i am saying cud extension press enter yes it is asking me what type of extension it is i would say theme extension okay online store theme extension so select that and say press enter now name of your extension okay so i am saying cod extension you can give different name but i am keeping the name same everywhere right so it is done i can go in extension and see that so it is created this cod extension inside this extension now what i'll do is i load this into my vs code editor and show you how it looks like let me take this path okay friends so now i open the vs code go to file and say open folder and give a path here select folder right so now it is loading the project into my vs code you can say trust this author yes now if you see the structure here the very first thing that you would notice here is a package.json so it has the scripts and all the dependencies dependencies says here shopify app and cli so this is the version it is coming out of the box we are using that and there are certain scripts that we are going to use like npm run dev and deploy to deploy our shopify app now the very first important file configuration file that we should see is shopify app.toml so here the important thing to remember here is the client id here and one more thing will come here later as we run this would be the default store where i want to run this app so that will get updated later so in this project i'll show you how can you make a api call from a liquid file to get data or to persist data you want to send some data to your server or you want to fetch some data from your custom apis which is running into different domain then shopify and show it on on the page i'll show you the code now how are we making call to the api from a liquid file to validate a user so scenario is i'll be entering a email id and we'll call an api and then we'll validate it it is just to show you a concept that from liquid files you are able to make call to any external api those api may be running in aws or azure or any other cloud provider or on or your organization infrastructure right so you are able to call the api from our shopify liquid file so uh, what i have done is in the extension folder i have created a directory my extension and then inside my extension i have a block yeah and then this is my my section dot liquid so inside the block i have created uh, my section dot liquid file so this is where our custom code is there i'll show you in a while so this is our shopify extension toml so here we have to give our project name the same will appear in your theme editor so this project name will appear into theme editor right friends so now let me show you my my section dot liquid file this is a very simple my section liquid file and this particular piece of code is very important for you to make it as a section so here you have to give a schema name my project to target section and setting so this piece of code this this six line of code is for shopify so that it understand this is a part of a theme this is a kind of a section but actual code which is going to execute our functionality is this so let me explain what i have done so very first thing i am importing the jquery min.js because i am going to use jquery min.js to make ajax call to call an api so i have imported that here in this section and then i have a div 
in this div i have one input box it's a kind of a text box where the user can enter and i have a button to make a call so on click of a button i'll be making an api call and then we'll show the result in this span right do you see username and validation status now let's go to this javascript call make api call what exactly we are doing here so in this make api call is a mock url so there are many services available online to create a mock api if you have a real api let's say you are running an api in aws cloud or azure cloud or your organization infrastructure so you can use that api here provide a method what type of call it is get or post or put or delete etc i am making a call this is how i am handling a response here and then finally at line number 27 and 28 i am populating this span call response 1 and call response 2 with the value username text box what is the username and pass data status that is the status of that user as i said the scenario is user will enter a email id and this api will be called to validate if that email id is valid or not if that user is valid or not I'll call this api by passing the data i'll get a response and i'll display that response into a ui right very simple requirement now this is just a concept so the scenario would be that you want to submit some data through a post api or scenario would be that you want to fetch some data from your custom api and show it on a ui so concept is important api and json data is just for understanding this concept right now very next thing what we'll do is i'll build this application and then we'll test in my shopify store okay friends now let me do that so this is the project directory what i have so what i'll do is i'll i'll deploy this project into my store and see and we'll go and see how it looks like on a ui so let me do that yeah so i'm running this command npm run dev so it will build and compile the code and now it will deploy that into my shopify store so here if you see it is printing what is the organization what is my app this is my dev store so it is pushing it now pushing theme so it will progress in a while my theme is 100% pushed to my store hence let me open the store and see uh, you have to press p to open your store admin console of your store so it will ask you to install your app so you see this is my store and this is my extension so the very first time when you is deploy when you push your theme it will ask you to install it so let me do that so i'm installing my theme here it will take couple of seconds right so it is done so it says it is installed now what i can do here is go to your store online store go to your theme customize your theme you come here say add section you will see your section inside this apps tab so inside this app tab you will see that your my project to my extension is available select that so that form is now available here right you can add this section wherever you want be it home page be it profile page or be it your product page based on your requirement based on your scenario so this is just a concept so this form is there now you can test it here as well let's say i'm giving pmodi at levi.com and then i'm i'll click it so i should get some reply right so it says username pmodilevi.com validation status is valid if you feel this all look good then say save so this customization will get saved and deployed on your store then open your store right come down you will have that form available and here you can test it that call to api is working fine or not 
yes so it is making call and getting response if you want you can see that in your in our network calls as well so let me click this so you see the call is going to mockbin.io as i said right i have set up an api call this can be a real api call to your api which is hosted on aws or azure or any other cloud or in your organization infra and then you would be getting a response accordingly so the response coming in form of this json username pmodilevi.com and status is valid hence i am showing that info here right so likewise this is just a concept as i said right similarly you can make call to any api your custom api that you are building and get the data and show it you can also make call to push api to push data from shopify to your own system but one thing to remember here is you have to handle cors cross origin resource sharing problem assume you are making call from this page to your api this page is hosted on my shopify.com shopify domain and your api is running on some other domain so you may get cors problem so your server may block the request your api server may block the request that request is coming from other domain so in that scenario you may have to enable cors in your api server which is running in aws or azure or any other cloud so i am not getting cors error because this is a mock api but let's say you are running an api which is running on xyz domain which is different from shopify domain so you may encounter cors problem in that case so you can say you when the request coming from shopify.com then allow cross origin resource sharing so that configuration you would require but you can check if it is working by default okay friends so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code by digest family okay friends friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you